Boom, 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 boom. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're gonna take a look at all of the skills from the new class Gunslinger. New and not so much, it's the female version of the Devil Hunter. Sort of, uh, one of you said it in the comments very nicely. It's the Devil Hunter reworked, Devil Hunter refreshed if you may. Comes only in female. If you wanna know more about the whole gender lock thing that's going on in Lost Ark now and it's gonna go um, on until every single class has the other gender counterpart, um, I have a couple of videos which I'll go link in the description below telling you more about um, all of this thing. But today we're gonna start with um, the skills I'm gonna show every single one to you, what you can do a little bit with them so you can see what is the difference in between the female um, version and the male version of it. Classes which are actually named different. Devil Hunter male and the Gunslinger female. I'm gonna start with the sniper rifle because here I have a couple of highlights that I wanted to show you and actually the first skill that I want to show is uh, this one that I have placed on F on um, uh, on sniper which is something completely new to Lost Ark in general um, and it's part of this uh, one. You, you cast it and then you have two and a half seconds to fire and then in another two and a half seconds to fire and you have this four times so in total you can stay up to 10 seconds um, in this skill and then obviously it has a cooldown and you aim and you shoot at specific targets around the map this is super super cool I can see this being used very nicely in PvP I am unable to imagine what in the world you would do with the skill in terms of PvE content. However, it sounds really nice, you can aim wherever you want, right, and um, then you just have time to fire. You can fire right away or just wait the whole thing. If your target is moving from one place to another, if you think he's gonna dash somewhere, um, or if the or if the Hawkeye pops out of hide as you're following the Battle Master, the Hawkeye pops out here, boom, you know, you've, you've, you've sniped him. Super, super cool, this is a very nice skill, uh, one of my favorites to be honest from from the class but there are there are there is one in the shotgun also um, that I really really like now um, starting back from the get-go here on number five I have this one that is very similar to what the devil hunter has right this one right here you can um, tear it up we're not gonna go through every single tier right but um, not everything is extremely interesting visually or in terms of what they do but um, just to the last tier you can tear it up like this also and then the skill is like this the first target it hits it does a bigger aoe explosion which leaves a debuff that also does a little bit of stagger and damage afterwards so a very nice thing that you can um a very nice way that you can tear this uh, this uh, skill next one that i have on number six looks like this this is like the devil hunter um, the devil hunter one it achieves the same goal at the end this one can be teared up let's say for the last tier <sighs> to do this instead of what it does already. A little bit more explosions and an after explosion that keeps on going a couple of times. Next one that I have on D right here is a perfect shot one. The Devil Hunter also has the exact same thing. It even sounds exactly the same as the Devil Hunter um, and it accomplishes the same thing. If you tear it up for example like this as opposed to a ready shooter, you're gonna get this right here where the perfect zone is towards the end right so you cannot really miss it in that sense now um, the one on f i already showed you and we're going to replace the one on f with um, with this one this one is something that devil hunter does not have and something that l sounds a lot cooler than the devil hunter and looks a lot cooler as well as you can hear Alright, super super cool, super nice, again something super cool for PvP, with a super long range as well, I, I think from, from here I can hit them from the middle of the room, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> super super cool so these were the skills for the for the sniper rifle let's go to the shotgun skills now this one on Q looks like this right and as you as you look into the skills you can tear it up also to um, for the bullets to have a wider spread after you shoot them so very very nice in uh, uh, PvE content especially dungeons and also you can do this as opposed to scatter them with for more bullets which makes it a little bit more of a concentrated shot with um, a little bit more uh, damage yeah then on w we have something that sounds and looks um, pretty cool 
right? Very nice with a knockdown at the end of, of uh, everything. This one, uh, not many ways you can tear it up, but I would like to mention this, which is something interesting. Um, back attacks no longer do the extra back attack damage, so it doesn't really apply if you're at the back or not. In PvP I'm talking. Um, but the damage to the enemy is increased by 16% and critical hit rate is increased by 10%. So, you know, for, for, for PvP content, which, you know, it's, it's exactly the same stats if you hover over them, yeah? Um, this is really, really nice because in PvE you tend to stay at the back, you wanna stay at the back, right? But in PvP content, uh, this trait sounds like a good idea because you're most of the times not at the back of an opponent because it's really difficult to position yourself as such in, if you're in the three versus three right so super super cool um, super cool stuff right cool next one on e looks like this and sounds this is what the uh, devil hunter has as well and it can also be tiered for example like this with this tier to do a couple of shots yeah exactly the same it, it might sound a little bit different and of course the female voice but it does exactly the same thing and it's literally exactly the same skill as the devil hunter has cool uh and now on r we have something that's really really cool um i'm gonna show it to you from from this angle it's like a, a barrage of of shotgun blasts Super super nice. Now this skill right here is not presented as a as a chain skill like this one with the two little arrows on the icon. Uh, however, uh, at the end of the normal cast, which if I just press it once, see, this is the end. That's it. Now, if I would spam it towards the end, I would get off one extra little shot, which is very bizarre that that it's here. Listen. See that 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 little pink at the end. Uh, you can play the video back if, if you didn't see it. But but it's very interesting because you, if you spam it, you get an extra an extra hit that actually does damage. And if you just press it once, which it should be pressed once, maybe my icons are bugged. Um, you don't. So super super cool. Now this particular skill right here can be um, tiered up. For example, that it's just if you wanna go like bazooka, really insane, right? In in dungeons, um, you can tear it up for this. So you can do a 360 as opposed to in front of you. Very 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 nice look at this just just absolute madness this skill is, is a regular shotgun skill it looks like as good as the devil hunter one of the devil hunters awakening skills so i'm just saying super super badass right um now lastly we're getting to the pistol skills which many of them are kind of the same as the devil hunter has for example this one right here uh, you know, it's kind of the same idea. It looks different, of course. It's orange and it's not white. And I've also selected a perk for it that it pulls enemies within. So if I would cast it here, that guy would be pulled towards the center. But in reality, it's the same kind of skill that the Devil Hunter has. Next one on W. Same exact skill as the Devil Hunter when they throw those bombs and freeze you. Or you can uh, uh, tear it up to have this instead let me just reset the cooldowns look yeah it it freezes you but then it leaves some sparks that at the end you know do a little bit of damage extra um next one is a chain this is interesting though this is interesting because the um, devil hunter does not have something like this well it has something like this but it doesn't have this and it's the skill is interesting because as you saw i can dash through the enemy so if i want to just dash through him then i can surely just press it and i'm dashing through him right and i'm, I'm away or i'm at his back and then turn right away and do something however if i want to actually uh, do the things that it does and apply the effects that it, it, it applies then I would need to calculate my range quite nicely towards the target in which I, after I press it I reach right here right in front of him I don't go through him very interesting you know what I'm saying that for a skill again something that's of course it's not new but something that's interesting for the class and if you look at the tripods you can also remove this one which is the um, uh, CC invulnerability and uh, apply this one which no longer slides through enemies and just stops there look at I will show you and if I would press it for from very close by like here normally I should slide through him right 
it stops in the enemy. So interesting way, you know, you, you never know how a guy might play, right? You, you think he uses the skill and he gets close to you, but actually he passes you and you're casting something in front, but he already passed because he selected this. So he passes through your, you know, stagger CC or whatever you're doing and he's at your back while you're still casting an animation in front because you thought he would be there. Just, just a little, just a little interesting thing, right? Um, on R you have the same kind of thing as a, as a Devil Hunter has. Of course this one is tiered up in a specific way, but for example if you tear it up like this, then you know it, it kind of looks like the um, Devil Hunter has only a little bit more girly, more um, frozen ice princess kind of thing. Now on uh, number 5, this one, exactly the same as the Devil Hunter's one. On uh, number 6, I have this one exactly the same as the Devil Hunter's one. On uh, D, this is very interesting. Again, this is an interesting skill because um, because it can do something very nice. It can stun, right? This is a very cool thing for PvP content especially. Now, at the last year, this actually stuns. But the thing is, it doesn't... You, you don't have to... You don't have to press it until the end to get the stun value out of it. If I just press it once the mob is already stunned for the maximum duration. Now, if I spam this skill, because this skill is, in fact, a combo skill, right? It's made out of various pieces. Then the mob already is... As I'm finishing the cast of it, the mob is already towards the end-ish of his stun. And because of that, you might want to consider sometimes, hey, I just want, boom, a quick stun, and then I'm, I'm you know, I'm swapping to shotgun and I'm doing my big things. Um, or I just do the full combo because I know that the stun part is good, but not what I'm interested in. And then lastly on F, um, very nice rain of bullets skill. This is should be very annoying in terms of PvP content with all of this stagger. Um, this one you can uh, reduce its cooldown, but other than that, there's nothing interesting that completely changes the skill right i have two sk uh, three skills here that uh, i didn't show you so i will i will uh, drag them to my bar and this one as well uh cool so we have this yeah kind of similar as the devil hunter has we have this similar to the devil hunter and we have this similar exactly the same to be quite fair um as the Devil Hunter one. In terms of the innate skill, everything is the same. You swap the three weapons, they are positioned in the same way. It's not like they're other way around where, uh, you know, the sniper would be here and the shotgun here so that it would trick your fingers a little bit, even though that would have been interesting. And in terms of the um, awakening skills, this is also very nice because both awakening skills are brand new. Uh, this one right here that I have called translated as Twilight Eye. -da 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 -da! So it has a little bit of a, of a Mexican tune to it. This this will never get old ever. Same as the Scouter Awakening skill, the one with the uh, with the, with the bombing from the aircraft. It's just absolutely badass. Listen to this. <laughs> super super cool. Very interesting, right? The way they've used this um, Mexican themed song. And the other one uh, looks like this. You didn't even see most of it. <laughs> it's because um, it, 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 it detonates at the first impact. Yeah. And it does a huge amount of damage in a, in a huge area AOE. This was everything for the... Um, I forgot the name of the class. Gunslinger. Uh, all of the skills that we have here. Some differences in between them and uh, the male counterpart, the Devil Hunter. In my next video, maybe I'm going to show you some gameplay with um, with the Gunslinger, just, you know, the UI and the sounds from within the game, because it's really, really cool, a little bit different than, um, than the male one. And I thank you so much for watching, as always. Thank you so much to my members that are supporting me with the paid membership here on YouTube. I really appreciate you guys. You're 24 of you now, so welcome to those of you that are newly supporting me with the membership. I always get so awkward when I talk about money, I don't know why. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you really soon.